kill them all. Valen's going to disintegrate her family, along with half of Voss. I like that it always splits in the middle. That's an interesting approach. Those ships belong to the Sith Empire. Maybe they want to join our alliance. I knew the Sith Empire would seek me out sooner or later. Their help won't come cheap, but we may need new allies in the hunt for Arkan. Arkan will return. Oh, really? To help me overthrow Valen or break my neck. To destroy your alliance. You think you are unassailable, but consider the cost of your victory. Thousands killed. A planet devastated. A mother's sacrifice. There is only one way to end this chaos and bring order to the galaxy. You must seize the Eternal Throne. As the supreme leader of Zakul, no one could challenge me. You consumed death itself, used its power to reach new and extraordinary heights. You were the Alliance Commander, champion of fear, and conqueror of my every challenge. No one is more worthy of taking the throne. Not even my children. Do you count yourself among that number? My time has passed. Only you can take the Eternal Throne. It is your destiny. Well, then let's go do it. Oh, they retreated! This shouldn't have happened. This is your fault! I gave the Gemini droids the freedom to choose. They simply made a choice you didn't like. Oh. They let Mother escape. I'm going to dismantle every one of those I don't droids. think Scorpio will let you. By fixating on Senya, you neglected a much greater threat. The Outlander. My father was there too. I felt him. And you chose to ignore him. You've been thinking like a child. Focus on the big picture. I see it now. It's all connected, and the Outlander is the key. Call coming in from the Sith fleet. It's Empress Asina. Greetings, Commander. It is an honor to finally speak to you. What brought you here? I assume this is no coincidence. We are here for you, Commander. For the Alliance. The Sith are tired of being crushed under the Eternal Empire's boot. We wish to join your cause. And what would I gain from your allegiance? The might of the Sith Empire at your disposal, for a start. I'm proposing an alliance of two independent powers against a common foe. Let's say we defeat Valen together. What's to stop you from turning your fleet on us? The old Empire would have betrayed you for its own gain. But we are no longer self-serving and weak. While you were frozen in Carbonite, many things changed. Come to Droman Kass. See for yourself. Sure, we'll head right over. That doesn't sound like a trap at all. <laughs> what would I gain by betraying you? Your followers would turn against us, and we would have even more enemies out for vengeance. The Empress did put herself at risk by helping us here. Hmm. Valen isn't likely to forgive that. We'll pay you a visit. I hear Drummond Kass is lovely this time of year. <laughs> I will be sure to give you the scenic tour. I will look forward to your arrival. I guess it couldn't hurt to visit. 
We've got intel, but I can learn a lot more if we're there in person. Don't do anything that will hurt the negotiations. Understood. Don't get caught. Exactly. That's not exactly what I meant. No, that is exactly I'm what I meant. I'm curious to see if things really have changed since I left. Whatever we find, this trip will be interesting. I hope we are starting chapter 2 so I can actually boost the difficulty rating on this. Also because it should be giving me more XP if I do it like that. Oh. Yes, that was chapter one. Nice. Oh, oh, I. All right, guys, I'm back again, and uh, the difficulty is still set to veteran, and we can actually press launch this time. And uh, it seems like we are going to meet with the Sith Empress. I wanted to be the first Empress. Mm. All right. Let's see. So, chapter 2. Run for the shadows. The Alliance have saved us for, from the onslaught of the Eternal Empire, but the war rages on. Empress Valen plans her counterattack as she scourged the galaxy for her brother Arkan, who escaped onto, into wild space. Meanwhile, Empress Achina, leader of Sith Empire, has invited the Alliance to Drum and Cast, proposing a partnership against Valen, Commander Sisyphem, that's me. Journeys into the storm raged heart of the Sith Empire to consider her offer. Let's click launch. Okay. I would actually have liked to uh, just kill a mob and get to level 66. Just to, just, you know, just to see that it works, you know? Should, should, should we go and do that? I think we should go and do that. If we get the church. If we get the church. Yeah, you know. You know. Chapter 2. Run for the shadow. Right, not enough. A lot to kill here. We're at war with the Eternal Empire. If you don't like it, complain to the Empress. There we go, guys. We are on our way to level seventy. Oh yes. So level sixty-eight I will get what will I get now? Dark bestial cool on for this reduced five single shields around here. Okay. Oh, I just want to close this, but alright. Oh let's go over here. 
So I can't do any of these. No uprisings, no nothing. Well, I can. I can just click here. Oh. All right. It's nice to have two companions at a time. Oh. Roman cars. I clung to this world for too long before I cast it aside as a failed experiment. Don't tell me you're getting sentimental. I spent centuries here. You cannot imagine what I created. This is the empty husk I left behind. But the Sith could still be a useful tool to help you seize the Eternal Throne. I know. Honored guests, welcome to Dromund Kass. Moff Lorman. It's Minister Lorman now. Really? I figured your career was over after you lost the Ascendant Spear. This story sounds too good to pass up. Back in my SIS days, I may have blown up a prototype Sith warship. Lorman was the deputy commander. It's Minister Lorman, and the past is irrelevant. I serve Empress Asina now. She awaits us in the throne room. Welcome, Commander. These are strange times. Once we would have been on the same side. Now we negotiate as strangers. I hope you prepared the same feast you give all your honored guests. I hardly think this is the time for jokes, Commander. I would like to continue this conversation on my personal shuttle. Just the two of us, speaking freely. It may not be wise to split up. Be ready if anything happens. And keep an eye on Lorman. It's Minister Lorman! Minister Lorman! Is that so hard to remember? Don't worry about us, Commander. Hmm. Well, he's not the one I'm worried about. There's clearly something going on. So many guards. But he has some kind of Napoleon complex. <laughs> that lawman dude. Athena's trying to throw in with the Alliance. Better than bowing down to the Eternal Empire, right? I remember when everyone used to bow down to us. Hmm. Maybe I could start doing some... Artifact farming. Shouldn't prove difficult. You know, I gotta do it eventually, so better get it over with. So, who's piloting this ship? There remain Sith who do not approve of the alliance I offer. They hold tight to the old ways. But to stop Valen, we must work together. Is that all you want? Or are you looking for a way to get closer to me? The commander of the alliance is a tempting prospect. But this is purely a political offer. We both know there is only one path to victory. You want to seize the Eternal Throne, and I will help you. Why me? You don't want the throne for yourself. I am focused on the survival of my people. Unchecked, Valin will grind us into dust. I am not powerful enough to stop her. 
You are, with my help. Engine's non-responsive. We need to bring it down. We're coming in too fast. Bail out! Well, she's a great pilot. That uh, went uh, terrifically well. Just terrifically. Alright. Oh! Is she... I think I got a new companion. Oh. Alright, so when we're going to defeat Jungle Beast, I will defeat the Jungle Beast. And avoid those circles. Okay, I need to set her to DPS, otherwise this will take forever. Oh yeah, this is on... Uh, oh, maybe I'll keep her on uh, on healer. Hopefully she does a better job and soon. This is actually starting to hurt a little. It's nice. Purple thing. Well, seems like nothing. Maybe it's something she put on me. She is the Empress, after all. Jungle Beast is taking forever to kill. You're not gonna believe that. Uh, probably not. Start healing. What? He sucks as a healer. Alright. Let's try this again. To feel your heal more. Seven percent, come on. Yeah, 
There you go. Okay, much better, much better. Your skills are impressive, Commander. It's good to know your reputation is not exaggerated. That crash was no accident. My vessel was sabotaged. Probably be by probably the same that, person uh, jamming our comm signals. If you wanted to get me all alone in the wilderness, you could have just asked. Normally, I arrange a more romantic setting for my crashes. My shuttle has an emergency beacon. The signal should cut through any interference. If help is coming, that's where they'll be. Oh, there we have Lana. Oh, she knows something is up. Just about into the main network. Someone's coming. Forgive the intrusion, but I come bearing tragic news. The Empress's shuttle has crashed. He crashed is where? so bad news. Somewhere in the jungle. Unfortunately, the emergency locator is not transmitting. Oh that's, my. Uh, that's impossible. Not if the shuttle disintegrated. I'm afraid there's only one logical conclusion. The Empress and Commander are dead. <laughs> what the fuck? No. Just no. Come on. My crew would never think I'm dead. They know better than that. Died in a plane crash. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah. What kind of a death for Caesar thing would that be? Or would she just be sad? Stay alert. Deadly predators stalk these wilds. You could say the same thing about your cities. City predators won't eat our remains. Usually. <laughs> I like her. Here you are. Alright, let's get you into... Damage. Feel my rock. Oh, we are not shut down. What? Oh, okay. Can't mount here. The storms are fierce today. It will make a rescue attempt difficult. I never liked relying on others to save me anyway. A sound philosophy. One the Sith Code embraces. I just know we're going to face something like this. So let's just assume it and just... Mm. No, actually, where are we going? It is tempting to attack it. Let's just get home. I'm certain I will succeed. I won't disappoint. I know. Slogging through the forest to hunt you down was going to be the worst part of this job. It's so much easier when the targets come to us. You're going to pay for your employer's mistake. Good luck. The Geno Harridan don't go down easy. The Geno Harridan? I thought you were just a myth. That's because we never leave witnesses. Ah! 
Finish off your puny little units here. And go ahead with killing you. Time to earn my pay. You don't stand a chance. Feel my wrath. Until you met me. Wasn't supposed to end like this. Well, you know, it was a good fight. It certainly was, but um, it sucked. The beacon destroyed. Signal still jammed, and a fierce storm coming our way. We haven't destroyed the last of our enemies. I assume the Geno Haridan have a camp nearby. That should be our destination. It's likely the camp is heavily guarded. Let's take them down. Nothing like a little danger to get the heart racing. I admire your persistence, but let's focus on our survival, shall we? Looks like the storm's not letting up anytime soon. I say we grab a shuttle and head out now. The interference will disable comms and scanners, not to mention the risk of an electrical surge frying our circuits. Sean, I just heard the news. Let me express my sincere condolences. Come on, SIS guys. reporting has gone downhill since I left. The commander is missing, not dead. Exactly. Don't let foolish hope blind you. You are leaderless, as are the Sith. Someone must step in to fill the void. Forgive me, but aren't you the former Republic Chancellor? You've already served your term. True leaders don't need titles to hold power. I want what your leader wanted, to defeat Valen. Join me, and we can finish what she started. Pass. I've had more than my fill of working with you. You're still grieving. Eventually, you'll realize I'm right. Yeah, especially when I come Storm back. Storm be damned. The time for patience is past. Let's find the commander. <sighs> I'll come home. Don't you worry. We'll be fine. Let's see here. I'm certain I will succeed. 